Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, and this is Brian Grindstaff. Now, Brian, we are actually standing in front of a torpedo. Yeah. Yeah, actually, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a blowdown separator, um, and, and obviously it's on its side. But I uh, yeah. wanted to talk a little bit, I guess, about um, maybe just kind of real quick about how they work, but then mm -hmm. let's move into some sizing, some things that you get into that you're asked. Right. Um, so, of course, this is a blowdown separator. Um, the, the, the point of having a blowdown separator uh, is to have a place uh, for the blowdown, the intermittent blowdown on the boiler to uh -huh. be able to go and be cooled before it goes to a sewer. Okay. Um, so, I mean, that's really the main purpose, pur purpose for it is right. you're, you're blowing down the boiler, um, you're getting the sediment out, you're, you're trying to take care of the conductivity that's in the boiler, get, get all the filth and junk out of it, uh -huh. um, and give it a, a, a safe place uh, to be able to take it and go to drain and make sure that it's tempered right for mm -hmm. that drain. Okay, okay. Um, is, is what, real quick on the drain, mm -hmm. what's the big deal if it's hot? So there's, there's a couple of different reasons for, for it to be tempered before it goes to a drain. Um, and most municipalities will require it to be under 140 degrees okay. uh, for these reasons. Uh, one, uh, the design of the, of the sewers uh, in certain instances in municipalities, there's a temperature rating on the piping and everything else. Okay. Uh, and then also uh, the temperature could actually kill the biome. Uh, that actually takes care of the waste. Oh, okay. Um, so it. there's a couple different reasons for that gotcha. that you got to temper that. Okay. You, you can't just take full steam temperature and dump it dump it in those drains. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Good. Um, so a little bit about how these are designed and kind of what options are with them. Uh -huh. uh, so the the blowdown separator itself, um, you can see we have a couple of them here. We've got a little small guy over here. We've got a bigger guy right here. And how do you know which one you really need? Yeah. Um, it's based off of the boiler design and operating pressure. Um, and then also um, how much uh, blowdown is actually gonna be running through it. Okay. Uh, the, the vessel here, the way it normally works is you have the blowdown from the bottom of the boiler. It comes in through this uh, fitting here mm -hmm. and it, it treats it like a cyclone. And that cyclone will uh, take uh, and evaporate off the waste heat through a vent that goes okay. out through the roof. Uh -huh. uh, and then the rest of the water uh, gets drained out the bottom here. Okay. So the vessel has to be sized for the adequate flow of whatever that blowdown is. Right, right. Um, okay. So you've got different inlets based on uh, the bottom of your boiler. You don't restrict blowdown. You're not allowed to restrict the flow of that blowdown in any way, shape, or form. Right. So you got to be able to run that full size. Okay. So that's one of the selection criteria for which separator you have. Okay. And then you okay. have different size for the vent and different sizes for the drain. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> just depending on how the, 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 the amount of flow from a boiler is how you're actually de uh, sizing the tanks. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, and then you get different options with these as well. Um, uh, pictured down here, there's an after cooler. Mm -hmm. So this vessel by itself will, will do the separation, but the after cooler is a pre-made assembly that you can actually put your temperature regulating valves in and your probes so it's at the proper angle to be able to sense whatever temperature it is open up a cooling valve and make sure that it's cooling to the right temperature before it actually goes out to the drain. Nice. Um, so those are, those are some of the options that you get with it. You can buy just the vessel if you want, uh -huh. um, but when we're doing full systems, we're, we're supplying you a vessel, we're supplying you with the legs, the legs are an option. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, after cooler, uh, pressure reducing valves to, to reduce the inlet uh, water pressure, uh -huh. uh, strainers to, con uh, to protect the temperature control valve itself, yep. um, and which temperature con control valve, and then also uh, sight glass if you want. Sure, so. sure. Awesome, awesome. A lot of, lot of different um, options, and obviously blowing down a, a boiler is something that is so critical, right? right. And so if you are not doing it, um, that you're probably going to have trouble with your boiler. Right. <laughs> but to do it and make it uh, good, you definitely want to make sure we have blowdown separator uh, put 
put as part of the part of the package, right? Right, and we always say this, you know, you really should be blowing down your boiler at least once a shift. Okay. You know, uh, that's a critical thing that everybody should be doing. Sure. Um, you know, to keep that gunk from it out of it, keep your efficiency where it needs to be, uh, you really should be blowing down that boiler at least once a shift. All right, well good, yeah. we appreciate it. And uh, if you need any information on blow down separators, make sure you get in touch with Brian and his group. Uh, boilerwarehouse.com, of course, you can always go in there and, and uh, give you a call and put things together. So uh, appreciate all you do, man, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, appreciate Brian hanging out with us today and talking about the blowdown separator. Now, you could learn a lot more about this, and Boiler 2024 is coming up May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Make sure you are there. We're going to be there. Get you a free T-shirt. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on X, I got it right, instead of Twitter, um, and share those videos for us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.